Welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. Today is Wednesday in which I have five well-analyzed tips for you for today. I know it's very painful when you predict games, you take your time, you analyze, and one team just wants to mess it up. That is football and anything is bound to happen. I'll keep on doing my best to ensure success for each and every one of us. So I have five well-analyzed tips for us for today. If you want to combine all these matches, you can go ahead, but please ensure you stake wisely. Stake the amount that you can afford to lose. So when you lose the money, it won't affect you or you won't feel any pain. But I always pray for success for each and every one of us. If you are new to this channel, if it's your first time coming to this channel, please ensure you hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you will not miss any single video I post every single day. So here are the games. So the first game is from um, the England Championship in which we have Sheffield United versus West Brom. So my prediction here is I am giving Sheffield United to win or draw at full time at 1.28 odd and other possibilities is Sheffield United to score over 0.5 goals at 1.23 odd. Please, before you skip this video, here are the reasons why I gave Sheffield to win or draw. Luton played their last game against Middlesbrough and beat Middlesbrough 2-1. As you can see in the table, Sheffield United and Luton are close to each other and Luton is trying their best to see how they can remove Sheffield United from that second position. And as you can see, Sheffield will do anything in their power to keep that second position because they can't chase Burnley because Burnley has qualified to, uh, to the Premier League already. So Sheffield United will do anything in their power to keep yourself in that second position. West Brom, on the other hand, they are really struggling. They lost their last game uh, to... Um, Sunderland 1-2. I was very surprised, but it's football. So this game, Sheffield United are going to fight and stand their ground because if they lose this game today, if Sheffield lose to West Brom, they have opened the gate for Luton FC to come and remove them from that second position. And if you check the head-to-head -head between Sheffield and West Brom, they have not been any draw in their last five meetings. So this game, I believe Sheffield are going to be the winner. So that's why my prediction is Sheffield to win or draw at full time at 1.28 odd, and for other possibilities also is Sheffield to score over 0.5 goals. We head to the second game for today, in which is from the Spain La Liga. We have Atletico Madrid versus Malocra. Atletico Madrid just lost to Barcelona, in which I thought Atletico Madrid will even win uh, Barcelona because Atletico Madrid has been in good form. They have not lost their last 13 games in the La Liga. They just lost to Barca of uh, recent, so... This match should go the way of um, Atletico Madrid. But the last three or four times Maloka met Atletico Madrid, Maloka beat Atletico Madrid. But I feel Atletico Madrid is in more good shape now than Maloka. But I am not writing Maloka off because they just won their last game in a way against Celta Vigo. I am not writing Maloka off. So my prediction for this game is... Atletico Madrid to win either of the halves at 1.27 odd. If you don't want to go with that one, you can go with a straight winning at 1.46 odd. But the other possibility in this match is I'm giving Malokra three goals ahead handicap at 1.20 odd. The head-to-head -head can tell you the start about Maroka. This team are very, very stubborn. Maloka are very, very stubborn. I will not write them off. So that is my reason why Atletico Madrid... Uh, is going to win this game. Atletico Madrid really need to win this game because they want to stay because the fourth position is chasing after them, to be honest. So every win is important for Atletico Madrid. We head to the third game for today, in which is my... I'm sorry, Chelsea. It's my Chelsea versus Brentford. You guys, I don't need to explain Chelsea's story for everybody. I don't need to explain Chelsea's story. This Chelsea story is general story. You understand? It's a general story. It's so painful. So you guys know what is wrong with Chelsea. Me, I don't even know what is wrong with that club. But regarding Brentford, Brentford have been struggling their past four to five matches. They have not understand themselves. These guys were so good last year. Even early January, these guys were so, so good. But regarding Chelsea, oh, I don't know. I don't know. So my prediction for this game is because Chelsea have nothing to fight for. <laughs> Will I say they are dodging relegation or they don't want to go for Champions League? Chelsea have nothing to fight for. So this game is just going to be a general, boring, normal game. So my prediction here is I'm giving Brentford two goals ahead. Handicap at 1.41 odd. If you feel that one is a very, very risky, you can give Chelsea home under 2.5 goals at 1.30 odd. Home under 2.5 goals means Chelsea will not score three goals because... 
I don't know where those goals want to come out from, to be honest. So I don't have any um, explanation for this Chelsea and Brentford because these two teams have nothing to fight for. They are just just struggling. But Brentford have more advantage because they are more composed as a team compared to Chelsea. And other possibilities and extra, 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 extra possibility I want Tony to score at any time. We head to the most important and interesting game for today is Man City versus Arsenal. This is the fight of champions. Man City has seen the green light to top the table because Arsenal drew their last three games, giving Man City a very big window to come and carry the trophy. I love Man City so much. Arsenal fans have been very annoying, but I love Man City so much. So my prediction for this game is Man City to win either of the halves at 1.30 odd. I feel that this game is going to be full with goals because once anybody is fighting for the trophy at the very tight stage, they would like to score themselves. This one will score, this one will equalize, this other one will score, the other team will equalize. So Man City should have the edge in this game because their last meeting, Man City beat Arsenal 3-1. And last, last four meetings, Man City have been thrashing Arsenal. So this should not be any different because Man City needs this game. You guys know Guardiola, a very, very serious coach when it comes to competition. So my prediction is... Man City to win either of the halves at 1.30 odd. Other possibilities for this game is over 1.5 goals, in which is the safest at 1.20 odd. I know there are going to be more than two goals in this game. And Haaland can still score. That guy scores anything. He can score anything. So Haaland can still score. It's a good option. You can go with Haaland to score at any time. So my last game for today, in which is from the Italy Coppa Italia, we have... um. Inter Milan versus, sorry guys, I'm using this handkerchief. I'm a little bit sweating. We have Inter Milan versus Juventus. These two teams are very, very big. They are very tough. The last time they met, um, they played 1-1, in which is the first leg of the cup. So um, these two teams are going to fight. No, there are not going to be enough goals, like so much goals in this game because it's the second leg of the competition. So the goals will not be much. Instead, they'll be looking for how to look for a maybe one simple goal to just enter, like the way Napoli beat uh, Juventus last week. So this game is going to be very, very tight and tough. So my prediction here is um, under 3.5 goals at 1.28 odd. And for more value and other possibilities, it's under 2.5 goals at 1.74 odd. But my prediction is under 3.5 goals at 1.28 odd. So guys, that is the five well-analyzed games I've brought for you guys for today. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. I am open to listening to each and every one of you. So the first game was um, Sheffield to win or draw. The second one was um, Atletico Madrid to win either half. The third one is I'm giving Brentford two goals ahead handicap. The fourth one is Manchester City to win either of the halves. The fifth one is um, under 3.5 goals for Inter Milan and Juventus. So guys, that is all for today. If you want to add your games to this one, you can go ahead. But these are the well-analyzed games I have come up with for you guys today. I wish each and every one of you success. I will keep on doing my best. No matter how bad the team performs, I will keep on doing my best to ensure success for each and every one of you. Remember, stake wisely and gamble responsible. Don't fall for anything called fixed match or sure anything. This football is open to everything and nothing is fixed in this game. Don't be deceived by anybody. If this game was a fixed game, I will not be here giving you guys these tips. I will see you tomorrow and I wish each and every one of you success. Please ensure you show me support by giving this video a like, subscribe and share the video to other people looking for tips like this. I will see you tomorrow once again and bye for now.